Cobalt-60 is one of the most commonly used radioisotopes in medicine. It produces a type of radiation called gamma radiation. Gamma rays are the most dangerous as they are a more penetrating power than alpha or beta. In fact, gamma rays are so hazardous that they can only be stopped by a thick layer of lead or concrete. Cobalt-60 is used in medical radiotherapy. It is used in cancer treatment to either kill or control tumour cells that are capable of growing into nearby tissues and organs. These cancerous cells are known as malignant cells. It is used in radiation therapy as an internal or external source of radiation exposure. Internal radiation or brachiotherapy is a procedure where cobalt-60 is implanted in new mutated cells to stop the flow of cancer. External radiation or teletherapy is a source of radiation outside the body, meaning that you do not inhale or ingest it. The patient is merely required to lie down whilst 200 beams of gamma radiation is directed at the site of the tumour. The use of cobalt-60 is incredibly beneficial in medicine as it can help to save lives by killing cancerous cells, and those who are treated with cobalt-60 have been known to have fewer side effects compared to those who are treated with other forms of radiation therapy. Exposure to cobalt-60 is not considered to be particularly dangerous as we simply are not exposed to an amount that is sufficient enough to harm us. Exposure to cobalt-60 for an extended period of time can cause cancer, and without adequate protection from the gamma rays, it has the potential to cause widespread systemic damage, which is toxic levels in the liver, kidney, heart, skeleton, and skeletal muscle. The benefits associated with the use of cobalt-60 definitely outweigh the problems it can cause. Cobalt-60, most importantly, has the potential to save lives. It can control or completely kill tumor cells which pose a threat to the body, and the risk of any incident occurring is minuscule. The magnitude of the risk evidently depends on the level of cobalt-60 involved, length of time or how often someone was exposed to it, and whether it was an internal or external exposure, meaning that there is virtually no risk in an incident occurring to a patient. Those who experience problems associated with the use of cobalt-60 are predominantly those involved in the health industry and are subject to prolonged exposure. However, these healthcare professionals take all necessary precautions when dealing with cobalt-60. The doctor or specialist administering the radiation therapy will have to leave the room and stay behind several inches of lead or several feet of concrete in order to minimize the level of radioactivity they are exposed to.